Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to explain associative arrays. It's an array where each element is a key value pair. For example, we can make an array where each element is a country, that's the key, and the value is a capital. A few other examples could be an ID and a username, or an item and a price. These would be examples of key value pairs. Here's an example. Let's start with a basic array. I will create an array of capitals. Capitals equals, we will use the array function. We'll begin with keys. Each key needs to be unique. I'll think of four examples. We have the USA, Japan, South Korea, then maybe India. Right now, capitals is an array. It's not an associative array. To change this array into an associative array, after each key, add an arrow. For readability, I'm going to place each element on a new line. It's not necessary, but it's a lot easier for me to read. Following the arrow, we will give each key a value. The value in this example will be each country's respective capital. The capital of the USA is Washington, D.C. Japan, that's Kyoto. South Korea, that is Seoul. India, New Delhi. We now have an associative array. It's made of key value pairs. If you need one of the values at a given key, we would then access our associative array, capitals, at index, then place your key within the set of square brackets. Let's find the capital of the USA. Then let's echo whatever the result is. And the result is Washington, DC. If I change the key to Japan, we will be given the value at this key of Japan. To print all of the key value pairs of our associative array, we'll use a for each loop. Within the parentheses, we're going to write something a little different. First, we need our associative array. Capitals as key arrow value. This for each loop will loop through all of the key value pairs. Let's print them. Echo, I'll add a placeholder, let's print each key and each value. Then I'll add a break line. Here are the keys, and here are the values. I'll add an equal sign before key and value, just so it's more readable. That's how to use a for each loop to loop through all the key value pairs in this associative array. To change one of the values, we need to access this array by a key. I'll change the capital of the USA to be maybe Las Vegas. Let's take our associative array. Then I would like to access, using square brackets, USA. Set this equal to some new value. The new value will be Las Vegas. When I run this program, the value at this key is now Las Vegas. That's how to update a key value pair. First, look up the key, then you can set the value equal to some new value. To add a new key value pair, we will access our associative array, add a set of square brackets, then place a new key within a set of quotes within the square brackets. Let's add China. China will equal Beijing. There's our new key value pair. The key is China. The value is Beijing. The pop function will remove the last pair in this array. Array underscore pop. We will pop our associative array capitals. Our pairing of India and New Delhi is gone. That's how to remove the last pair in this array. The shift function will remove the first element. Array shift, pass in your array. 
The USA and Washington, D.C. pair is now gone. It's shifted out of the array. If you ever need all of the keys in this associative array, there is an array keys function. Array keys pass in your array of capitals. This will return a new array. I will assign that to a new array. Let's name it keys. Then I'm going to display all of the keys within our array using the for each loop. So let's change this a little bit. We have an array of keys and I would like to display as key. For every key in keys, let's echo each key. Then I'll add a line break. Here are all of the keys within our associative array. If you need the values instead, there's a values function. Array values. I'll create a new array named values. For every value in values, print each value. And here are the capitals, all of the values within our associative array. You can flip the keys and the values by using the flip function. Array flip pass in your array within the set of parentheses. This function will return a new associative array. We can either create a new associative array or reassign it. I'll reassign our associative array. Then we need to change our for each loop again. So we have capitals as key arrow value. Then we will display every key and every value. Key equals value. Our values are now switched with our keys. The capitals are now the keys. The countries are the values. That is the array flip function. If you need to reverse the order of your pairs, you can use the reverse function. Array underscore reverse. Pass in your array. This will return a new array. I will reassign it. The order in which we originally placed these key value pairs is now reversed. India is now at the beginning. The USA is now at the end. Then if you need the amount of key value pairs, you can use the count function. Echo count capitals. Let me get rid of this for each loop to demonstrate. We have four pairs within our associative array. One, two, three, four. All right, everybody, so it's time for some practice. I will delete everything but our associative array. We'll create an HTML document. So preceding our PHP script, Using VS Code, I will type an exclamation point, then hit tab to create some sample HTML. We'll create a text box. A user is going to type in a country, hit submit, then we will return the value for that associated country, that capital. We'll need a form. Form, be sure to close it right away. The action will equal index.php, the method, will be post. Let's create a label. Enter a country. Then we'll need a text box. Input type equals text. The name will be country. Then a button. Input type equals submit. Here we are. Within our PHP script, we have our associative array. We'll need to access whatever's within this text box. I'll store that within a new variable named capital singular. Capital equals dollar sign underscore post. The value we are trying to access is the name country. Let's see what we have so far. Just for testing, I'm going to echo our capital. If I type in USA, then click submit, this should return USA. 
to get the value associated with this key, USA, I will take our associative array, capitals, at index of a country. So in this example, it's USA, right? I can copy this post variable, delete this line. Within the set of quotes, I will place the post variable, then get rid of the quotes. I will reassign capital to equal whatever value we receive. So I will type in this time Japan, then this returns Kyoto. We could even put this variable within a sentence. The capital is our capital variable. If we type India, then click Submit, the capital is New Delhi. All right, everybody, so that's an associative array. It's an array made of key value pairs. You could create an associative array of countries and capitals, ID numbers and usernames, or items and a price. Those are a few examples. And well, everybody, those are associative arrays in PHP.